And I'm starting with a feature that isn't anything new, but I want to show you something that probably nobody has ever noticed yet. That ends today. Assume we want to set a background, so the background portal will open. But because I'm using the dark theme, the windows inside the preview will be also dark. And if we change the theme to light, and try again, the windows inside the previewer will use the light scheme too. What you've never ever noticed though, is that if we keep the portal open, and then change the theme, those windows inside the previewer will change too. They are basically like real chibi windows. However, there is a terrible issue with setting the wallpaper from files. They may have fixed the problem with the duplicates inside the wallpapers folder, but the background never adds to settings, as it most probably should. Oh, and the theme basically failed. But still on 43RC anyway. Boom boom, it's time for the main event. GNOME GitLab and XDG Desktop Portal. And let me find and read you a commit. Here it is. I'm reading. The GNOME implementation of the file chooser portal doesn't make any effort to remember the last folder of any given app. This can be quite frustrating and a significant usability problem, especially when doing repetitive operations on the same app that require picking files over and over. Remembering the last folder selected by a given app is a quick win that doesn't require too much introspection design-wise. So let's just do it. Do it! Just do it! So in real action, if we try to open a torrent file, the file picker will start from our home folder or something. But if we navigate to downloads and torrents, and open a file from there, the next time we'll try to open a file, File Picker will launch on Torrents folder for that specific app only. For example, Drawing will open on Pictures folder because that was the last folder I used for this app. And this is one really great feature. 